Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, confessions time. Da, 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 da. I'm going to show you my craft room and it is disgustingly untidy. Uh, I've been watching quite a few people doing like makeovers and having these perfect craft rooms. And yeah, mine isn't. I still haven't tidied it up. I'm going to blame the weather. Uh, I live in the UK, so I'm going to blame the weather. Yay! <laughs> So, the first thing uh, that I have when I sit down in my craft room is uh, all my little Scotty Duck things and a few diamond painting things as well, some gnomes there and uh, I've still got some Squid Games things. I never did give them as Christmas presents. Um, not quite sure why. These are a lot of my Scotty Dog keychains and uh, that was my little Hatfield designs that I got, my little Christmas tree decoration. I've kept that out got my bee with the two little bees on it there and uh, my little love gnomes uh, just popping up there a couple of scotties these are my owls that's that necklace look <laughs> that I did and uh, my little upside down owls there and my lovely card up there look which is an owl so that goes with my owl theme and then I've got all of Millie and some of Maisie's rosettes when we've been to some of the little fun dog shows and what they've received. And I've got my little unicorn wreath there. I always have a little bit of Christmas in my room. <laughs> my little snowman smiling. Uh, my wind catcher that was actually bought from a Native American uh, at the side of the road. A lady was making them when we went to Oregon. So I bought that one from her. Uh, Scottish Terrier house rules, yeah, and then things that people have bought me. I've then got my little, well it was an S, but as you can see it's not an S anymore. Uh, it's very straightened out uh, for filming and uh, the technical uh, holder runner there, <laughs> which is a pair of scissors to hold it in place. I have got a TV, but to be fair I don't watch it, so that's going to go out of the room. Uh, I've then got my printer, goodness me, which is absolutely covered in dust. So as you can see, I've not been very house proud in this place. And then these are all my completed canvases and well, most of them and canvases to do in my folders, all on top of my uh, Calax from Ikea. I've got a couple of empty storage boxes here. Uh, I've got a few special drill items that I've not completed yet. And then I've got, goodness me, uh, some items to do, some wreaths and things, Christmassy ones. And they're all the ones that are completed just underneath. That's all my Easter ones in there, I think. Uh, these are actually 12 by 12 scrapbooking uh, containers. Containers? Not containers, Liz. Storage. Storage boxes, yeah. They're a 12 by 12 scrapbooking storage, and I think they just keep the... Uh, reads in really really handily i like those uh, these are all my scotty dog uh, drills to do so they're all labeled and in there ready to get done i've got some bits and pieces invoices and stuff i need to sort out and put into my accounts and then also completed diamond paintings to put into my little book on some of them i do have uh, little storage baskets and things behind as well so these are all stickers and some craft buddy things that I've got in the craft buddy catalogue. That I'm not going to try and take it out is my art dot, um, is the, you know, the board with the little trays and everything that go in it. These are my ABs, which that's my square ABs and my round ABs. And then some miscellaneous like square crystals there and some more ABs and then just some overflowing ones. Looks like I've had a bit of a spillage there. Got my pro markers in there, they're my alcohol marker pens. And that is all my pencils and my paints and all various bits and pieces in there, the watercolour pencils. These are my boxes for my drills on this one. And then I've got a few bits of a foam board and some of the some of the foam rollers that I'm going to use to send some paintings to a few friends. These are all of <laughs> Uh, light pads so I've got a cordless A4 one sorry A3 one and one with a cord and then a few different ones there and a P3 
pink stand to put them on, goodness me. Uh, let's put these back away as well. So that's that one. These are, oh, I've got my fan as well working away on my desk because it is very, very warm again today, humid. Uh, these are my first diamond paintings I did. That was the very first one that I started after I'd been making cards and it was a partial. Right back in 2017, I bought that one. Goodness me. It took me a few years to complete it because I put it away and didn't do it. And then uh, I then got it back out again. I thought, oh, I'm going to have another go at these. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> one YouTube channel later. So yeah, I think these were from Amazon. But, uh, I didn't know anything about the difference between partials and keeping drills and DMC codes and squares and rounds or anything then. I just ordered them because I like the pictures. <laughs> As you do and as i say that's just some bunnies and yeah i think that's mainly my easter ones in there so then on the next drawer down i've got my posh scissors look my rainbow scissors i've got some markers i've got some projects to do look the mdf ones from the works i've got those new trays that i recently got in with that uh, storage bundle okay and that strange little thing Yes, that bag. Got my washi tape there, and some plastic bags, and some more storage. And then that's my round drills, and my little fridge that I got from One Day Saving. Okay, right. These are a couple of drawers. I've got my dynamo machine in here, or dynamo machine. Yeah, it's dynamo. Yeah, it's definitely dynamo. Uh, staplers, double-sided tape, tape pens all sort of stationary stuff in there uh, this is all left over from my crafting at uh, my card making days i've got some foam tape here which is great for raising things up off cards uh, that's all your red liner tape which is extra sticky and my pom-pom makers and yeah just all sort of stationary type stuff in there and then moving down, these are the boxes that I've done, but I've found now that these aren't really big enough and I want it to look a bit neater. So these are all like my stickers and things. So if I'm looking for stickers, I've got all round stickers there. I've got all the uh, Rebecca type stickers in here to add on to my canvases all in there and yeah just various different stickers and bits and pieces and numbers and a little scrap pad for writing notes on so that's all there handy uh this has just got oddments in it that really need sorting out these are all the works canvases that i've got um i've kept them all in the boxes and the little signs that i've yet to do anything with there's just not enough hours in a day what can i say and this is my little bits and pieces tray. Um, this is actually the top of the art dot storage. It goes on the top of those drawers, but at the moment it's just full of bits and pieces. So yeah, I've got pen grips. Oh, I'll move that out of the way. <laughs> and bees and all bits and pieces, all those different waxes there that I've got. Um, that's to go to a friend in Australia. <laughs> Yeah, these look like lipsticks, but they're all like waxes. The little bees, that gorgeous little heart-shaped tray that I got in friend mail. Uh, some of my ladybirds. And lots of black tweezers. Yay! I do like sending them to people, but they are really heavy. They can make quite a bit of difference on postage. So, yeah, I keep giving them out to people. <laughs> Okay, so back across here, I've still got my B happy to do, and that P is still tacky. Can you hear that? Yep, you can hear that still tacky, so I've got the beads to put on that one, the gems. Uh, this one is my 30 by 30 special drills and my 30 by 40 special drills to do. So all the drills and everything are in here. Uh, yeah, all labelled and all done. That's the little owl one that I got recently. So that was my bargain buy. These two little crystal creations just slot there as well. So yeah, I like to try and keep everything 
just pop this back on the shelf over here. Do like to try and uh, keep everything sort of within an order, but I've just, well, it looks like a bomb city in here. So down here again, left over from card making. I do still use them though. That's my huge scoreboard for making envelopes and folding larger cards in half. Um, I've got a craft room sign that I still need to decorate. I'm going to make that into a blackboard. And I did start putting some crystals on it. Look, I did start it. Yay! <laughs> and then what have I got here? Oh, I've got... I think that's the another envelope maker. I'm not quite sure why I kept that one because I've already got the other one. Um, I've got some splodge mats, which are like messy mats if you're using alcohol inks and things like that. And making a lot of mess, you need your mats. And then I've got my glass cutting mats. I've got one, two, three glass cutting mats. Goodness me. Another heat mat. These are actually ones from the pound shop. They're actually baking sheets. Like silicon baking sheets, uh, heat resistant, but they're great again for uh, doing your messy crafting and if you're using a glue gun or whatever. That's a proper splodge mat, which I don't think I've ever taken out of the packet. Another one of those bargain buys. Uh, some wood that I've kept, some like plywood that I've kept that I thought, right, I will do something with that. And it's still sat there probably about four or five years later. Um, my little Scotty dog that I got, now that's a mosaic to do, we have still got all the mosaic bits and pieces but at the moment he's still there waiting to be done and these are my bags that I've been collecting up which I've now got all in one place and then this is small round poured glue and Partial around pork glue drills, so as you can see, I've got a lot of those as well. Goodness me. But I am having a clear out. Yay! So I can't really get to these. These are all um, a mixed bag. I think some of these are PR packages that I need to get done. But these are the grey boxes that I've now bought, which are 30 by 30. And they've got like the little handle on the front as well. But you can still fit a little bit on the top. So I've bought enough to do sort of this side of my uh, story. I've then also got my butterflies one that I did. And just peeking down there is my owl one. That's got all sort of crafty bits and pieces in it. That's um, all like, uh, what have I got in there? I've got these wooden coasters to do. I've got my circle cutter. I've got my heat gun and few stamps and bits and pieces, all my glue gun things in there and some acrylic stuff in there to do. So that was sort of out of the way because I don't get to do that one very often. Uh, right, so which side are we at? So we're at this box here. So let's go back to this one. I've got my goo gun, which is great for getting your sticky stuff off. My Craft Buddy Crystal Art uh, sealer there and my Xyron sticker maker which is always handy. I've got, uh, oh no, my heat gun. No, my heat gun's not in there. It says heat gun, but it's not. I've just got all my ink stamp pads and my embossing powders and things in there. And then this one is all stamps and things. Uh, you know, your rubber stamps for making your cards and stuff like that and colouring in. And then as you can see, I've got all my different labels that I use. Cover sheets are in that one. Um, and then if I'm making a card, husband, whatever, this is a, uh, I used to have these all in separate containers for every single one. And this whole side was full of these containers, these smaller containers. So all of this sort of uh, size was absolutely chock -a full of various things. These are all my cover minders to make. Uh, I've got my magnets now, so these are all different little bits and pieces. My little b one there i just need to get a magnet on that one Um i did buy that thinking it would be familiar because it said it was a dog crown and uh, yeah as you can see it's teeny tiny so yeah it won't even show up on millie's hair <laughs> so i thought i'd just use it as a cover minder Um I've got all my little princesses i've got some little brooches that i'm turning into cover minders the little owl there and 
all sorts there, little stick pins, but I thought I could probably take the backs off those or I might just keep them as they are, I haven't decided yet. So yeah, lots of different things. What's that one? Oh, that's my head jog. That's a little head jog look. So yeah, I've got a lot of sorting out to do and I'm still gonna blame the hot weather. <laughs> Okay, and then you can't really see down here. Um, that's a box of, as I'm doing bits and pieces, I've been bunging them all in there to sort out later. And I think later might have to be now. Uh, that's some paperwork for accounts and stuff. Um, that's all invoices and receipts and everything. Because I am registered as self-employed um, from doing craft shoe print and from doing um, the school craft clubs and everything that I used to do, I was registered self-employed for that. So, And then these are some of my folders that I've just got to, some of my stickers on. Sorry, it's a little bit dark down here, uh, but you can more or less see that's just... So I need to find a place for that because that is just at the moment all over my desk. I have seen like an L-shaped desk um, that has got like shelves next to it but I don't think it's big enough to stand the A4 folders on so I'm still looking it's a work in progress I think it's going to be a work in progress forever to be honest uh, this is my desk uh, left over from doing my last filming look which was uh, my canvases rolling them back I've got my uh, tablet here my iPad here ready to do my next video because I do need to do one with all my stickers on um, I've got my whirly gig which I finally after over two years since I was last in the office at work um, I've now gone in and completely emptied my locker and my desk and cleared everything out which was a very sad day so yeah I am uh, no longer going back there, which is really sad. Oh, I'll just put my tape dispenser back over there. Now then, this is a fun drawer. This is another. Don't open that drawer because things might jump out and get you. I've got lots of stuff in here. I've got one of those things. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think it's just for rubbing over your diamond paintings. I've got my little Scotty Dog rubber stamp there that I like to put. If I send people a message, I like to put that on it as a little kiss from Millie. Um, I've got all my findings for when I do bits of jewellery and jump rings and things in there. I've got all my brushes and things for doing my ceiling. Um, funnels, little spoon there. That's my pin flare glue. I've got my magnifying glass. That's my circular cutter to go with my circle cutter that you saw in the other box. I've got all my lovely blingy pens in there and my dew drops and glossy accents for doing little like making eyes pop out and things no not making them pop out when you put an eye on a card and it just stands up a little bit and i've got some sticky dots i've got a box with all sorts of findings and bits and pieces in i just seem to put things in boxes and then hopefully eventually i'll sort them out i've got um staple remover I've got a pencil sharpener there, I've got another tape measure, I've got more glue runners. These are all my scissors at this side. As I say, I do have a lot of scissors. Um, I've got a little Scotty Dog notebook there. I can put notes and bits and pieces in. I've got some little wet wipes. I've got some needle threaders in here and some little bows. Oh, that's a cover for... Um, your switch on your light pad so that when you've got your light pad on you don't keep catching it and turning it off. I think that came from, where did that one come from? I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember. Uh, just a couple of trays I use when I'm kitting up. Um, a few craft knives, I've got a lot of craft knives in here. So we'll go in there. These are all my different coloured tweezers, which I've just started to throw all over the drawer. So yeah, I've got my lovely pink crystal ones that I got from the lovely Chris, and then some pearly pink ones, and I've got some gold ones. And then I've got a few pens up here that I use. Um, so yeah, I like to keep my pens all together in here. 
and then these are my tweezers these are my card making tweezers oh that's just off one of my um silhouette pens that i've got there that one do you know my brain's not working today it's not working with my mouth some of these are my tweezers that i used in my card making days so these are my that was a company oops kanban that was one of my favorite companies that sadly did uh, demise it went into receivership and then it was taken over again and went into receivership again sad stories lots of people lost money and jobs and things but they're very fine points and uh, very easy to use those so i've still got those they're a lot flatter than the black tweezers that you get i still do like using those quite a bit so that's that junk drawer as it were oops now it's not going to close so when you hear me uh, when i say oh i'll just get something out i'm actually when i'm filming on this desk i'm actually reaching underneath and opening this drawer that's what the noise is <laughs> Okay, then down here I've just got sort of papers and cards and things and my copy of paper for my printer, they're all still there. I used to have um, two great big uh, storage like racks full of all these A4 containers because I used to have one um, box for practically each colour of the card that I had. Um, I've got envelopes there. Now then, these are all my storage containers that I've been trying to sort out for which ones I've got spare. So as you can see, I've got quite a few different ones that I've got piled up. These are all ones that I haven't got anything in them at the moment. And behind, I can't quite show you, but that's all glues and sprays and craft buddy sealer and all things like that in that box. I'll just move that one across that's a 64 storage container uh, that's another container I've got I think that was an art dot one that's my little a bunny rabbit card that I've got down here that I won these are all my crystals to sort out just the plain crystals putting them into DMC order so there's a lot of those to do oh my goodness me um, I've got my gnomes and all my different crystal art stickers that I got the other day and did an unboxing on. These are all my 30 by 40 canvases for my 30 by 40 challenge that I've still got out. And then underneath this box is all my craft buddy and other Christmas uh, items to do. So that's a few left in there, not too many. I did have a good start on those Christmas items. Then that one in there, that's all my square drill 30 by 40s. <laughs> it's full, yeah. So, and they're all the double-sided tape. So they're the ones that I'm, some of them I'm going to be sending out. So I do need to get to that one in a moment. Uh, so that I can parcel those up to take to the post office. I've got some more storage here. These are the larger storage jars. Then I've got my Peter Rabbit wreath. I've got my new hanging Christmas basket, which is upside down. I've got that great storage that I received from the lovely Chris. Um, I've got my koala bear diamond dots there. These are my guillotine cutters. I've got a small one, a medium one, and a very large one. Uh, these are all packing materials so that when I'm sending things out to people, um, that I can actually wrap them up safely. I don't want people getting things that aren't sorted out properly, as it were. Some more bits of storage and one of those little containers that if I'm using um, just the bags to, uh, the baggies to do my diamond painting, then I just put the baggies in one of these. And that's that little foam thing. Underneath there, that's all foam board in that one. That's an A3 size um like a storage container card storage container it's like one of these that are a4 but double the size so that now means <laughs> uh sorry but that unfortunately doesn't fit on these shelves it doesn't go anywhere here so that's a real nuisance because i did used to just like having these slide one out put it back on the top slide the next one out this is all my very large storage um large paintings drills in that box that's a huge box there 
and these are all ones that I've got kitted up here ready to do these are all my 30 by 40 drills in this box uh, it was actually a chocolate hamper from Thornton's no not Thornton's from Rinkton's tea that I got at Christmas oh and it had peppermint creams in it what more could I want so that was that one and then that's a few more a uh, little storage and the uh, paintings and things that I've got kitted up ready to do. I'm very organised, ready to do things. I just don't seem to have the time to do them. Then this is my very dusty window ledge with my some of my Scotty collection on. These are all biscuit jars, apart from the black and white whiskey, obviously. Um, it is an empty bottle. Uh, I gave my dad actually the whiskey. I won that. We went to... Um, Oh, I think it was one of the Scotty Garden parties and uh, they were doing a raffle and I won that. But I thought, oh, I'll give my dad the whiskey as long as he gives me the bottle back. So, yeah, and that's just a little crystal Scotty that I've got there. I think that was Princess House many years ago. If anybody remembers Princess House. So, yeah, that's all my Scotty. Oh, I think that one's a money box. The one next to the big one is a money box, but the others are all cookie jars. And, yeah, very sweet. Uh, yeah, they do need dusting though, I say, getting into this room is just a nightmare. Okay, so then we're on to some more empty storage. And so these are the grey boxes in here that I'm going to be using. Uh, oh, that there is some painting by number canvases that I got for hubby that are still sat there. Underneath is my shredder, which doesn't work very well, unfortunately. So I may have to get a new one. Uh, this is my magnifying glass, my old magnifying glass. Uh, I've now got one with a light. These are just some storage baskets. I like to keep bits and pieces in. You see, I've got all the things to do it. I just don't have the time to get it sorted. That's another storage box there. And then this <laughs> is a bed under here. So, yeah. After seeing everybody's lovely tidy crafty rooms, <laughs> you can now see Lizzie's very untidy craft room. <laughs> okay, so these are all what I've been doing for smashing the specials that I've got out ready to do and some of the ones that I've not actually done. These are some canvases that I still need to label up and put away in my storage. That's the little Christmas scene that I got recently. Um, this is a desktop calendar. I've got some little weighing scales now, so I'm going to do some weighing of drills to see how much the pots hold if I get round to it. <laughs> uh, some more canvases that I've got that all need labelling up. Uh, some more packaging stuff. I've got some packages down there. I'm not going to show you those because there's some surprises going off to people. Uh, I've got some crafty cards here. Some of the Christmas cards left over that I didn't get done when I was doing my Christmas card challenge in July. And where are we now? September and I've still not put them away. Naughty Liz. This is the pack of 20 uh, mystery box canvases that I got that I've kept all together. And they will be gifts and giveaways and various bits and pieces. So they're all still there. This is just a large box I've kept um, for start, well, for sending something out in, so that's there. Right, let me just move around a bit. Uh, this is some of more of my Scotty collection. This is a lovely lady called Maureen that knitted this one for me, crocheted this one for me. Sorry, this is a lovely Scotty dog. Let's see if you can see, it's got a big button for a nose. There it is. Look, look how cute is that? It's got a nose and its little eyes. And it has got a little, um, if I can find it, yeah, there it is. It's got Maisie on it because it was uh, made when I had my first Scotty Maisie. So it's got a little pendant on and it's a little scarf. This is a Build-A-Bear one um, with a little tartan top on it and a little collar. Uh, that was bought for me by one of my very, very good friends. Uh, Chris, who has now sadly passed away, he left us earlier this year. Uh, that was very, very sad. But I will always keep that one because that's what Chris got me. And then just lots of like little ones. Uh, and my craft buddy. Uh, sorry, and my... Now then, I think that one was from Fan Cells, my cushion. 
Uh, I'll double check, but that was my butterfly cushion that I did. And my hummingbird cushion. They're the two that I've kept. The other cushions that I did have actually gone to new homes. Uh, that's my Scotty Dog Christmas one that I did for Christmas in July. All nicely now framed up and that needs to go on the wall. These are all, I don't know whether I did a uh, completion review on this one. This was my little gnome all done. He stands up, he's a 3D gnome. Oh yes, I did because I um, showed you how to make him. Yeah, I did do that one. <laughs> so these are all left over from uh, smashing the specials that I need to put away. They're all sealed now, so they need to go back in their new homes. Uh, this is a bedside cabinet. <laughs> Um, oh, that's just a cup hold, uh, cup cover with a diamond on the top. Look, it's just if you're having a cup of tea and you don't want anything to get into your tea or I don't want Millie to stick her nose in it, I just put that across the top. Uh, oh, that's my um, Ferris wheel that I finally got finished. So that just sits there. I've got a calendar with Millie on it there. This is uh, an item that I did oh, a while ago. And it's my little light, so it's an owl diamond painting when you turn it on. And it's just a mirror when you turn it off. So, yeah, that was fun to do. like doing that one. <laughs> uh, these are some frames. And that's another piece of wood that I've kept that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with. And then these are all my boxed canvases. I've got my owl there, look. And, oh, that's a couple of painting by numbers that are hubbies that's my peter rabbit there and when i did my stash i forgot all about huge which is my christmas scene diamond painting which is 90 by something i think so yeah i ought to get that started really because i did one last year of a train uh, and it didn't get well it only just got done in time it was for a christmas present <laughs> oh that's my duster so look i do actually have intentions of dusting i just haven't got around to it yet uh, these are my long paintings that I've got hung up here, all ready to do. And they're actually hung over some of my Scotty paintings. That's my uh, Halloween painting, or one of them from last year, the Scotty Dogs. I've got my bee hung up there. I've got another bee. My mum pinched my first one, so that's my second one. And then some more Scotty Dogs. I think I've shown these before, but... That was my uh, first easy whim. Sorry, it's a bit glary. Let me just... No, we're still gonna get glare. Okay, that was my first easy whim. Square, double-sided tape canvas, and I nearly gave up on that. If it hadn't have been a Scotty picture, uh, that wouldn't be completed, because it was awful to do. I was literally having to roll down the drills and seal them and keep them flat uh, so they didn't pop up <laughs> and pop off but yeah i mean it's a lovely picture and it was worth doing but oh my goodness that was a definite labor of love that one unfortunately it was too small um this was again as i first started and uh, yeah there's no definition unfortunately on the little black scotty and then that's my little um angel scotty there that's that one i love that one his little expression there, uh, look, those beautiful dark brown eyes and shiny nose. And um, that's my craft buddy Scott at Westy in uh, honour of my little Harvey. And then this is my Millie and Maisie. That's Millie, that's a little abstract picture that I did on the computer of Millie. Uh, turned the photograph into an art image. That was my rainbow from uh, lockdown when Craft Buddy were giving out rainbows. And then that's my beautiful Maisie Daisy, as she was. Uh, always happy and smiling. And uh, sadly, she did go over the rainbow bridge, but, but a lot of happy memories and pleasure. And then that's just a rainbow painting added of her, another art image I was playing about. These were all from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. I got them unframed. Um, and yeah, that was quite a saga. I'm not going to go into it now. But uh, yeah, I may give them another try on customs, I'm not sure. And that is M uh, Millie at Christmas with her little bells. That's come out really well. The charting's good. The colours are, are good. It's just that um, I ran out of drills on two of them. 
and two of them um, didn't have the right drills in when I got them and they had clear covers on them um, and there were double sided tape underneath. So what I thought was poured glue because it had a clear cover actually turned out to be double sided tape. Don't always think that your uh, poured glue canvas is a poured glue canvas just because it's got a clear cover on it. As I say, they were double sided tapes. I wasn't best pleased. <laughs> They had been money off though, if I'd have paid full price for them I might have been a bit more cross But I think I'm going to give them another go on the pre-stretched frame ones and see how that goes uh, This is a pile of canvases to be sent out, these are the double sided tape ones So I need to get those parcelled up and sent to people uh, This is my new little cart that I've got Oh that's just my squirrel uh, wreath that I opened the box uh, earlier on uh, this is my little cart, so it's on wheels and it's just small but I thought it would be just handy to put next to my desk rather than having all the bits and pieces stuck on the shelves. Um, and yeah, I just got this from Amazon, uh, it's got a few bits and pieces in it, it's got a few toolkits again for donation and there's some of my bits I got from the range when I went, goodness me, and then I'm not going to show you under the bed, <laughs> there's too much. And then I've just got a few unboxings down here to do as well. Yay! Okay, well, that's oh, that's just some plastic bags that I have. We put rubbish in plastic bags. <laughs> okay, so my craft room. Um, it is quite big actually. This room, uh, as I say, it has got a full size bed in it somewhere under here. <laughs> Uh, yeah it's gonna take quite some tidying so I'm going to say this is the before and then hopefully you will get to see the after when I've got all my lovely grey boxes on my shelves I've got my extra part of my desk and I'm a bit set more set up but as you can see the light oh that's the light fixture there I've got uh, my little dream catcher hung from my light there and I've got that little spinny uh, dragonfly there with the jewel at the bottom which I don't constantly hit my head on because actually they're a bit low <laughs> uh, it's got I've got a daylight bulb in here but as you can see the bulb is behind me um, and if I put my desk sort of in the middle here then the plugs don't really reach for the wires don't reach for me to plug things in and it just makes it a little bit more complicated and my camera arm doesn't reach this far either so this is my very messy craft room and i hope you've enjoyed looking around it with me uh, if you have as always a thumbs up is much appreciated and if you <laughs> if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see this possibly tidied up and see what i get up to next then just down in this corner there's a subscribe button and you can come and join me and join everybody join in our little family and uh, have a bit of fun okay well that's me done for now so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now